Hello, today we're going to learn how to create a new report in Informer. When you log into Informer, you will be on your report's homepage. And to start to create a new report, you need to click on the New Report button in the upper right hand corner. And then you'll have a choice of Informer Report or Native SQL Query Report. Right now we're going to choose Informer Report. And then you will get to a screen that you need to type in your title. and then your data source. Now your data source is the database or the data source where you're pulling the data from. And then within that data source you need to click on your mapping or your file. And I know that this information is going to come from the person file. And then we're going to put in a description. And then the next step is to choose a tag. Now tagging is important so that you will be able to go back and find your report after you've created it. It's, it's a sort of filing system with an informer. So I'm going to say demo so I know where this is the next time I go in and then I can click next. Now after that you've now created your report template. You can see the title, the description, and the data source. If you do need to edit any of these, you can click on any of these links to go back and edit. We've chosen our mapping, and the next step we need to do is choose the filter upon how we want to filter the data from. So we're going to click on the None link, and then we have a list of criteria types to add. Right now we're just going to go and use two simple conditions. So we're going to click on Simple Condition, and then you have to fill in your property, your condition, and your value. Your property is your field. Now I'm going to go by state and gender is how I want to filter this report. So if I start typing in state, I can choose it this way. I can also go into the ellipsis to the right hand side of property and choose state this way by typing in the search field up top. Our condition is also considered an operator. Um, we can look at the drop down box and we can pick which one we want to use. We're going to use exactly matches, which is also the same as equals. And then we need to pick a value. Now, if you want to use a literal value, and we type in North Carolina here, every time we run this report, it's going to filter the data on the people that are in North Carolina. If we use a prompt and we want to enter text and say enter state code, state abbreviation, and require the value, it will prompt you for a value every time you run the report. But at this point we're going to just do a simple condition with a literal value and we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to do one more condition and we're going to say we also want to look for gender. So I'm going to type in gender here and it will pre-populate if there is a field by that name. And at this point you can say I want exactly matches. And we'll do a prompt here so that we can choose if we want to run it based on males or females. And we can say require the value here, which means that you will not be able to run this report without a, a value being added in for this parameter. And we'll hit OK. And then you have to remember to save and close always. And now you've actually created your filter. And now the next step is to create the columns or the output. So we're going to click on the link for none. And at this point you can add fields. So we can click on the add fields button. And you'll see that the person file comes up and all the fields that are within the person file. You have a choice of using those or you can actually drill down into any other files that are mapped to this file. Right now we're just going to keep it simple and stay within the person file. We can say we want our last name, our first name. We can say we want an address. If you can't find the field that you want, if you click on or type in address in the search box it will pull up anything that has that name in it and we're going to do address for state, street, city, and zip. 
and if you want to get back to the main p list you can hit refresh you have to take out your filter and hit refresh and then click X now you can see that we have different demographic information in here and we can say we can move things around so that they're in the right order we can go back and add one more field if we want say gender since we did our filter based on the gender click X and then we can hit save and close and there is an option in here if you want to do any kind of sorting you can hit the link next to sort and you will have a choice to sort by any of the fields that you have put in your columns or your output so right now we're going to say I want to sort by last name and then first name and we're going to hit save and close and we can now hit our data tab to run the report and it's going to prompt us for the gender because we asked it to now if I just put in an M here and hit launch report it's going to pull up everybody that's in North Carolina and that is a male now you can also enter more than one per value in your parameters as long as you separate it with a comma so if I put male comma female and hit launch report it's going to pull up everybody that's within North Carolina that is a male or female if I try to run this without any parameters and hit launch report it's going to say you must specify a value because we required the value and you can tell over on next to the parameter there's a little red star that is how you create a simple report.